Well, we're glad you're with us today. Football season right around the corner. That means game day parties and, and food. Exactly. Yes. Lots of food. We have some right here, huh? <laughs> Chef Kate Horning is here with some game day entertaining tips. Sometimes people don't even know there's a game going on. Right. I, <laughs> I love the game. The good thing about it, too, is I know if you're involved that we can do this and be healthy. We can, yes. I love the game, but to me, the food is what it's about. And entertaining and having fun, but of course, you want to feel good doing it. So I've got a fun little homemade nacho bar All that you right. can make that makes it a little bit healthier, but you can still enjoy game day food. Well, you, you call it a bar, I guess that, that means that maybe the guests do some of the work, right? Yes. So you don't have to do it all. Yes. Yeah, so well, that's, that walk us through. What do we need to do to make this a success? Yes. So when I entertain, I always like to make it as simple as possible for me because I want to enjoy the party. So I also like to do this kind of setup because it allows everyone to sort of build their own. So mm -hmm. everyone gets what they like because I'm a big fan of veggies, but maybe you just want meat and cheese. So it gives everybody the ability to make something that they enjoy. And it looks so good when you have it spread out like this yes. in the different containers. It's I love pretty, that. pretty, yeah. So I've just got a bunch of different toppings here. I've got some ground beef that I seasoned with fajita seasoning. Mm -hmm. Got some olives, some peppers and onions, some black beans. I'll let you guys kind of build your own nachos if okay. you want. So All right. Yeah, I mean, you, you, wanna, you, you get started here, Bill. You yes, get your add, fingers in there. Add your toppings. Right. <laughs> uh, where do I start? Okay, yes. well, then, then you talk and I'll put some in here. Okay. Here we go. Uh, that sounds better. Uh, you want, some, want some of this on your hand? Okay, now I, I see where you're going with so it. So the best part about good? this is that you can let everyone build their own, and I like to use parchment paper to put on my baking sheets, and then you just pop it under the broiler, and then all your toppings get warmed through as well. So you can do your beef up in advance, and then just reheat it when you melt that cheese. Ooh, that so is that's a very tip. nice and, and fun. Yeah, and again, it should be fun. It's a talking point. You know, when I entertain, I like to involve my guests in the process, so everyone's not just sitting around staring at me waiting to be fed. Right. You know, it allows them to really get involved and enjoy. Kate, and who are you kidding? Is, when you're sure at the this. party, they know that you're going to take care of them and that you're going to feed know. them very well. Pepper and onions. Yeah, here. sauteed peppers and onions. Yeah, and then I love pretty. to do some romaine lettuce and cilantro on top, too. So, again, I'm just trying to add the little bit of extra veggies in there that you wouldn't normally see on nachos that you're going to get, you know, Isn't this pretty? at a bar. And you say don't be afraid of putting cheese on it, too. Yeah, so one okay. tip I have, yeah, is, is enjoy the things like the cheese, the sour cream, but make the foundation the vegetables, and then buy the best cheeses and sour creams and things like that that you can find. So you're genuinely going to enjoy everybody. Look how pretty I really yeah. like that. Yeah. And yeah. you were even slide, saying <laughs> uh, if if you are really good about Here reading the labels, you can find that you can do things like the mm -hmm. queso that you yes. brought. Whole Foods offers a lot of great options for things that you love, like quesos. Uh, I love to make homemade guacamole, but in a pinch, I'll buy the store bought at Whole Foods, and it's fantastic, and the ingredients are great. Uh, same with the fajita seasoning. This has really good ingredients, so you uh -huh. can cut corners a little bit, but just read the labels to make sure you're getting good ingredients because if you're going to do it, you've got to do it right. Does your yeah. website? Uh, katehorning.com. Do you yes. have recipes like this? I have a new website up now with all my recipes. I share weekly recipes, inspiration for entertaining, um, healthy living, healthy eating. So yeah, check it out. I'll go ahead and post this up there and all the little tips on what to make and how to how to assemble it for your, well, your own party. It looks really pretty, Ben. I know it <laughs> tastes good, too. Yes, it will, so. especially once you melt that cheese and warm that beef up. All it's right. going to be so tasty. Hey, Thank thanks you, for Kate. coming by. Yeah, thanks Let's for having me. Let's come back again soon. We appreciate it. <laughs>